In today's video, we're going to talk about perfections and imperfections that you will find in your chrome plated trim. In this example, we will be talking about the trim that goes around the headlight on a 1939 gram. Here's an example of what we were looking at on the workbench. This is a complete chrome set that is for a 1939 shark nose gram. The set was removed from this 1939 gram, our latest project here at Cars Plus. David will explain to you what to look for when it comes to the imperfections, what's acceptable, and what things should look like once they are completed. One thing that we would like to note that while we are showing the 1939 gram shark nose in this video, all of these tips would apply to anything that you are going to chrome plate. In looking at chrome plating for your project, you need to look for several things. One of the things we're going to show you is right here on this particular piece. It's one of the better looking pieces, but you'll see this area here that looks has sort of a little yellow tinge. In person it's really yellow tinged, but it has a yellow tinge here. That's called nickel shadow. What it means is that the chrome plating in that area has worn off over time or was poorly put on in the first place. Nickel shadow is going to show all the time. Yes, you can use metal polish on it, but you're always going to be able to see a slightly different hue between the nickel and the chrome plated portion of the part. Chrome has a blue cast to it. You can see it's sort of bluish. Nickel has a yellowish cast to it, particularly when it starts to tarnish, and nickel will always tarnish. So when you're looking at chrome plating, what you're really looking at is the nickel with a super thin layer of chrome to keep it from tarnishing as it has here. So this part has to be replated when it's going to be used. When we look at this piece on the opposite side, this is an original piece and you can see if you look real close there are little scratches and imperfections in it. However, it's fairly nice. So if you're on a budget you could actually reuse this part. And let's move the part next to it out of the way so we don't catch some of the reflection from that. But you can see that there are imperfections, but on a car that you just want to have a nice car, you could get away with reusing this particular piece of chrome. This piece that we have here is a part that the owner has gotten. It's new old stock. It's much nicer than the other parts. It's got a couple of real teeny imperfections, but I would probably put this part on a car just like that, as it is. When we come to the center top piece here, same thing. That's in beautiful shape, new old stock. We'll use that one. Let's look at what we had to start with. That's the piece we needed to replace. This piece is in terrible shape. It would cost a fortune to plate, but it's worse than that. You look at it from the side, it's been sanded, it's super thin, and I would call this junk, and I'm going to throw that one in the trash. This particular centerpiece that we're looking at here is the one from the car, cleaned up. Looks fairly good, but when you look closely, you'll see places where it's very scratched, and you'll see all the what looks like little stars to you in the video. What these are is these are blisters where the metal underneath has contamination, and it's starting to go right through the plating. And it's all over the pieces, got blisters every place you look there's these little stars particularly if I flip the top look at what we've got here so this part definitely needs a replating job we've got to get rid of that blistering now if we look at the rest of the part it's pretty solid piece so this is a very good part to consider for replating we don't have any broken pieces on it we don't have big chunks out of it we don't have lots of corrosion we just have the little blistering this is an easy part to get replated and it is a pot metal part in the beginning so we can go back and have this done by the plater we use. That's one set that we're going to use. We have two screws here also that are part of the set. We're not going to send those out to a plater because we can buy these brand new chrome plated and not have to expend the money of chrome plating these parts which would be more expensive than buying brand new parts. So these two parts we'll replace. Now we're going to look at the opposite side headlight trim and we're going to show you a couple more things. Now the owner's told me he can get another bezel, which is this piece here, 
And the reason we would consider doing that is notice that hole. That's not even round anymore. This is corroded back and is not round. It could be worked on quite a bit, but that would be an expensive repair to get that piece round again. Also, we have a jagged edge here. Both of these would be expensive. This is a good candidate to use if it's all we've got, but if we've got a better part, this is not a part we would want to replate, and it definitely needs a plating job. It has the star problem throughout it, but these areas I've shown you make it something we should not consider when we've got a better candidate than that. Here we have a side piece. This is a new old stock piece. Again, it's got some minor scratches, but on a nice restoration, I would use this piece for a nice restoration. If you're going for concourse quality, everything here has to be replated to perfection, but this would be usable on a nice car. Let's look at the opposite piece like that over here. This one has to be replated. Now we look at all the reasons why. We have a very bad scratch right there, but you see this million star effect. This has got a lot of problems underneath. We need to have this part completely redone. It's been polished off. It'll never look any better than that unless we replate it. And this is, it's replatable, but that million star effect looks just terrible. And you can also tell in spots it's been sanded a little bit by a previous owner. This particular trim piece, original, needs to be redone. You see the million star effect here. We've got the same corrosion and bubbling that is caused by contamination in the pot metal. From years ago so this piece needs a total replate also never look any better than what we've got there I didn't even continue to clean it off because it's really corroded and it's going to need to be redone but very playable when we come over to this side we have one that's a little nicer than that one but you can see it's got clouding in the plating even because we're losing the chrome in places and so this not only has the star effect but it has the loss of the chrome in places which is going to result in other words nickel shadow again so this has to be replated but there's another problem with this part that isn't apparent it's going to be hard to tell in the video but this part is actually twisted in the middle so there's a twist in here so rather than using that part we're going to substitute another part this is the substitute part now this is one i have in a drawer here so i'm going to trade the owner his part that's got the twist for the one that doesn't have the twist because the twist can be worked on by the plater, but it's always possible it's going to break because it is pot metal. So we're going to keep this one out and we'll substitute that one, but it'll still need a replate job. Here we have the centerpiece that was on the car. Also the two screws again. These two screws, again, we will just buy new ones. This is the centerpiece on the car. You'll notice it's got a big dent, but furthermore, They've put this giant post on the back of it. So we've got a couple of problems besides needing a whole replate job. We can't have that dent. We'd have to have that all worked up and it'd have to be done by a very special plater who could actually solder and fill that. So we're not going to probably use this piece. We're going to use this one. Unless we find a better one, we're going to use this one. You say, well, that looks terrible. Well, of course it's got the problem of contamination. It needs a replate, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. We don't have a good post on the back. Let's look at the post here real quick. Here's the post on the new old stock one. So what we're going to have to do is have a custom post made to bring this back up and make it possible to install it on the car. But we can do that and give these same results. So this is a good candidate for a replay, even though we've got to do the post, as compared to one that's got... A post that if we take this off, we're going to be in the same boat with that, plus we have this huge dent to deal with and the fact that it's been sanded down on the sides. So this is not as good a candidate as that candidate that we're going to use for the job here. So things to look for. Look for your contamination. Look for nickel shadowing. Look for scratching. Look for pieces that have got corrosion where they've been eaten away and make your decisions based on what type of car are you building. Are you building a car to be a perfect concourse quality car? Everything needs to be redone. That's just a rule. If you're building a car to be a nice car, you've seen where I've said in some cases we can use pieces. If you're building a car that's more towards a show car, but maybe you're trying to save money, you look at what you can get away with and utilize on your restoration. 
in all cases evaluate as to what's going to be kind of expensive to do. It's more expensive to fix this than it is to fix something like this. In this case, this will actually cost you less money. This is going to be problematic in these two areas. And it's something you get to know over time as to what you should utilize for your plating. Hopefully you've enjoyed the little ideas of what to look for, particularly your nickel shadow, the star effect, why it occurs, and you'll be able to make a choice for your project car in the future. Like and subscribe. See you later.